Welcome. So this is a page I've laid out that works well for the size of this video. But of course, different people have different size screens, which means that they can put more or less uh, information on them. And so in this talk, I want to discuss about the sizes of things and also show how one can fill a page quickly from the layout examples menu. So this is a layout and because the grid is switched on you can see that there is one, two, three cells across and two down. You know, it's a small size format. We have a thing called the format menu here and we have various choices and then if you select more you have complete control because horizontal and vertical units can be set. Anything from one by one, which sometimes is useful, up to 10 by 10. And you can turn the grid off, on and off here. If you turn off the grid, drag and drop is disabled. Then you can control the space which exists between charts and tables. And you can also make the page transparent. You can do that from the uh, choices and options also. And you can create a background and a border. And this is all for making very pretty charts. But basically you see here there's a, a sort of mini preview. I increase the number of horizontal units and the number of vertical units. You see what's happening. So of course if I do that, click OK, everything gets smaller and I have more space to put other information. Now within charts, see in most situations the point size of the glyphs, you know, planet symbols and all that is computed, is kind of optimized based on the space available. But in charts you have some control over this. If I right click on the chart, here we go, there's a item in the right click pop up, this chart. And if you right click on a chart, you'll see some choices. Like you can equalize the glyph sizes. Glyphs doesn't just mean astronomical or Western astrology glyphs, but anything describing the planet, like the letters SU for sun. Or you can have maximum size big, for example, like that. See here it gets a bit smaller because there's three objects. Here it's bigger because there's two. So you can, you can equalize the glyph sizes like this. It may, it may look better for you. You can uh, make them smaller and smallest. So smallest is still perfectly readable. It's all a question of what you prefer and how what looks good on your screen. So that's how you control the point sizes in charts. Now let's talk about the layout examples because this brings immediately the question of sizes of tables in. So if we go to the layout examples menu, you have a lot of choices which are related to, I mean they're, they're, they're templates basically for pages that I've created which you can uh, use and you can also modify. So the standard page one looks like this. And when you select a layout example, you'll get three choices. You either replace the current layout, you put it on a blank page if there is one. You have 36 pages in the current setup. It may increase. You know, that's convenient because sometimes you just don't want to cover up your nice layout or you can cancel. So right now I'm going to replace the current layout. So now we see there's a lot of information on this page. And if I turn on the grid, you can see one, two, three, four, five by one, two, three, four. So in the format menu, we can see five by four has been checked. Now this looks great on say a high dimension monitor or a larger monitor, but on a small laptop, say, you know, 11 inch, 13 inch, you know, if you have really good eyesight, no problem. Otherwise you start to think these point sizes in the tables are a bit small. But as you can see, they're pretty much optimized for what's the space that's available. So the only way to make the point sizes bigger without some messy effects is to have 
less information on the page. So if we go to the format menu and we select say 4 by 3 so now we have less information but everything is much more readable. So I'm just bringing this to your attention and of course you know like I said from the more you can control this completely. And you can get to that menu here also, it's called the page wizard. And there's a button up here with a little wand. So there are actually multiple ways of getting to the page wizard. You'll find it all over the place, like on the pages menu. <laughs> so every page you create uh, is included here in the pages menu. And you know, I create a lot of pages. When you select a layout example, each layout example has a name for example standard page one and when you import it or you, you place it on the page then that page will be labeled with that word standard page one but inside the pages menu you can change you can rename pages uh, so it's uh, it's all in your hands really so this is the this is how you make tables bigger uh, that includes the dashas and graphs and charts are controllable because you have you can drag like this so and then you have the controls I mentioned for the glyphs inside the chart it's easy don't some people are just they're afraid to press any button they don't know what it's going to do but until you press the button you won't know so I, I, sh I assure you nothing terrible will happen after all, if I do something strange, suppose I do this and I say, oh, that's a mistake. You can just go to edit menu and do undo. So, so don't be afraid of experimenting. Enjoy.